Hi everybody, I'm Rochelle with Godiva's Secret Wigs and I want to talk about two very important things today. I want to talk about our eyebrows. So take a look at my face right here with my fantastic Madison on and now I want you to see my eyebrows with nothing on them. Okay, so very important to have eyebrows, especially with wigs, because the eyebrows help to frame the eye. And when you're having thicker, more beautiful hair than your own, you really want to create the illusion that you have, you know, a nice amount of hair and your eyebrows match. So I'm wearing Madison right now in creamy toffee. Isn't it cute? I'll just show you what it looks like. But I'm starting with a very pale wig. So you can tell it's not that necessary on this wig that I have my eyebrows. But still, to make my eyes look framed, I love eyebrows. And what I'm showing you today is Godiva's Secret Wigs Eyebrow Kit. It's fantastic. I've been using it for years, but I wanted to show you the difference with blonde rooted wigs and also dark wigs with my eyebrow done and with my nudie eyebrow. Okay, so let's go on to a rooted wig like Freedom in Nutmeg F. And because the wig is rooted, you see the darker, the illusion of the darker roots. So look again now at my eyes and my eyebrows. To me, it just looks more complete. Now look here. So it's okay. What I don't care about my eyebrows, nudie, is that I have very little tail, but adding some color to your eyebrows is really important. So in just a minute, I'm going to show you how I do this eyebrow, but I want to show you on a darker wig. So many of us, we switch colors all the time. And just by tweaking our makeup and definitely our eyebrows, it makes a huge difference to the illusion. Okay. So I'm putting on now a Rochelle in raspberry ice. So I'm not going for a perfect wig right now. I mean, I'm not, it is a perfect wig, but I'm not going for a perfect look. Talking more about eyebrows. So a healthy looking, colorful eyebrow, it just, to me, it's very important. So I just wanted to take a moment to show you in a darker color, it almost doesn't go. And that's why, especially when you're getting into the deeper colors to please add eyebrow. So I'm going to put my freedom back on because it has less bangs and I can really show you how these eyebrow stencils are so easy. And so are our wigs. You know, they're wash and wear. Danielle and I wouldn't show you anything that was difficult. Believe me, because we're not into that ourselves. So our eyebrow kit comes in many different colors. I am using the blonde and it's pretty light as you'll see. It comes with six different stencils. Some are a little wider. I like to have a little point go up. So I look for a narrow one that has a little tail. It also comes with your stencil brush, your color, and an extra little brush to line out or brush through your eyebrows. It's very important to blend your eyebrows. What I like to do, a couple of little extra tips, is before I start, whatever eyebrows I have, I just brush them upwards. Remember everybody, I'm not a makeup artist, but I know you like some new tips, and so I'm just sharing with you what works for me. I also have an Anastasia, it's a little gel. And I find that if I wet my brow just a little bit, the color holds really nicely. 
So I have my stencil, I had used it on this side, then it's very important to clean it. I prefer a tissue. <laughs> clean it, otherwise you're going to have the powder sticking on the other side. So clean it, clip it, place it where you want it, and I normally go for wherever I can see. <laughs> so I'm starting here. I've got my stencil and I'm holding it with my fingers nice and tight and then I am just stenciling. It's like stenciling a picture and the blonde is pretty light so I do it, go back and forth. If you're using a dark color I suggest you do not put the darkest right there, it'll be too dark start in the middle or at the point and then just go back and forth take it off so it's pretty good i'm pretty happy with it it's light for me uh, so i go a little bit deeper but what i do to finish it off is i just use a pencil that i have and just add a little bit more just going up making sure I have the tail and for eyebrows you don't want to rush it and you never want to go with a line you just want little 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 strokes and I do it a few times it takes me a few minutes but it's really worth it so I'm pretty happy with it I love it sometimes you have to touch your makeup up just a touch but I really, really like it. So let me put Rochelle back on because it's darker. The Raspberry Ice. And really just switching your shadows, your lipsticks, your eyebrows. I mean, if I'm wearing a darker wig, I am definitely going. I have my eyebrow kit in three different colors. I don't go the darkest because it's intense. So uh, the middle colors are really great. If you're a pale blonde or you're a strawberry blonde, this blonde is fantastic. It also comes on the back. These are the six different stencils and it actually shows you what to do. It's so simple, everybody, because you know Danielle and I, we're busy women and we want it easy. So I think it looks pretty natural. I hope you agree. And I hope you'll try our eyebrow kit. Okay, take care and have a great day. Bye.